What is up, everyone? Welcome to Fairway Media's coverage of Tale of Two Rivers at White River Disc Golf Course. My name is Peter Artman, joined by with me my commentating partner, Jared McGlinchey. Jared, right. what is up? Hello, it's the Northwest Hype Guy. Just wanted to give a big shout out to our Tale of Two River sponsors. Peter, who are they? We got Mando's Disc Golf Armory, PCDGA, and Innova. Along with Kyle Crabtree Disc Golf. There we go. A little quick Can't on forget the... about the crabs. Of course, of course. And here we got uh, round one, part one. The first two rounds will be at White River and the third and fourth at Riverside. Here we got our feature card. Axel Olsen, an up-and-coming youngster here in the scene. Kyle Crabtree, a local legend. Kenny Clark, battling for legendary status. And another up-and-comer, Ben Hamilton, known as Birdies by Ben. Here we have beautiful hole one, 276 par three. Peter, take it away. What would you throw here? Well, we got a uh, straight with a dog leg right, small right bend here. And, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty much a straight shot for the right hand backhands that most people here uh, will be throwing. You are just going to want something with a little bit of anhyzer to flatten out. So, uh, you know, depends on the mid range. If you're, uh, you know, where floats your boat. We have some people here that do uh, the forehand throw too. So let's see what plays out. I think we got uh, Kyle Crabtree up first and nice little shaking of hands before the rounds as disc golf is. Great camaraderie. Oh, we got Kenny Clark here first. And he's actually a, a really good forehand thrower. We, we, we see him with the backhand. So we're going to see how this, uh, how this plays out. Yeah, Clark will be looking to line up a turnover backhand. And you just want to generally mm. have it turn to your right hand for about 1 o'clock. But... This is the risk of that turnover backhand shot is sometimes it does not turn over and there is a little bit of elevation dip right in the middle of the hole to throw gravity for a curveball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little early for Kenny, unfortunately, but uh, this is kind of one of the easier holes that you can definitely scrape up a par from uh, most positions here. Got Kyle Crabtree doing a little bit of a anti-fade, but uh, not much. We'll see how, what, how, uh, what turned about for that, uh, that bush interaction. We have Ben Hamilton, a.k.a. Birdies by Ben. And Birdies is a White River player, and he's showing the tenure here on this shot. That's exactly where you want to line that turnover backhand. Definitely. Shot. Yeah, yeah that, was, uh, that was textbook. Here we got Axel Ols Olsen, the, uh, the young prodigy here. I believe he's actually uh, going into the amateur worlds, too, as we uh, are commentating right now. That is correct. That is correct. So good luck to him out there. Now we're going to come up to our uh, second shots, see what uh, Kenny Clark is working with. A little forehand flex up shot and pushes a little bit further back than I think he was hoping for, but... Oh, and Kyle Crabtree has a little bit of a path, luckily in all that bush. Let's see if he can capitalize. Ooh. Just Peter, that high. is an alarm clock sound. Yes. That will wake you up. I always say that people say the chains, you want that as your background. Like, no, man, you have that. That little band, it's going to wake you up. Oh, the famous st straddle putt. Everyone's favorite. Mm. Weak side left, a little up, but that's okay. That's only the first hole. What we have here, Peter, is we have a lion climbing in the bush, mm. about to pounce on its prey. And his name is Lion Clark. Lion Clark. Okay. We got some new nicknames going on here. But nice par for Kenny. That was a uh, low ceiling. Not the easiest shot. So uh, I expect a lot of those out of Kenny Clark because he, he really does have a good laser. A like low line. Sometimes you're almost even not sure if it's going to hit basket, but he's really good at those low laser shots. Kyle Crabtree. Showing why he was a world putting champion, I believe. That's right. Yeah. I think US uh, DGC. Unfortunately, not great at grabbing his disc out of the basket after he makes the putt, Peter. But this mount wasn't the best, but uh, I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll clean him after that. And here we got Ben Hamilton getting the lone birdie, taking the box. Earning Let's... that nickname, Birdies by Ben. Birdies by Ben. All right. Hey, what do we got here? Yep, we have a hole two, par three, 268 feet. Um, usually, it would just keep going until that opening um, as we're coming up. But uh, as you see here, it is a more of a bend to the right. And we'll see people most likely going for the uh, forehand shot or that um, any bend much more than the first hole that we saw before. And Birdie's by Ben takes the box here. 
throwing a turnover backhand shot. Has majestic tendencies, unfortunately. I think that might be part. Kenny Clark here, the forehand. Yeah, looks like yeah, probably a little bit of a putt. Might have gone uh, a little long, but um, still looking at a shot. That's what's kind of nice about this hole. If I was a betting man, I would bet that's a buzz SS there. Oh, definitely with that fade. Definitely an Anheuser fade. And Axel Olsen lining up for a forehand as well. Stump yep. interference, Peter. Yep. But, uh, yeah, good forehand. And, yep, Kenny a little long. Got himself a bit of a shot. Let's see if a laser putt can uh, be in his future here. And he cans mm. it. Oh, yeah, great birdie. And, yeah, I love that putting strut he has. Good hop, good going forward. Now here we got Ben Hamilton just inside circle. Bands. All day long, he'll hit those chains. He did put a lot of time in before this uh, this tournament in putting. Okay, well, yeah, it's showing. Still keeping the box with uh, these big names. Let's see Axel Olsen if he can uh, keep up. Mm, just a little short, just a little short, but uh, a lot of golf to play. Kyle Crabtree. And he likes to chase down those twos. Mm -hmm. Doing what he does, getting on the board. Unfortunately, Axel Olsen with the four. Uh, the right. summer hole three here, Peter. What a beautiful hole. Very beautiful hole and um, definitely unique. As you'll uh, see on that left, that uh, tree right there kind of is in the way a little bit. So you're going to see a lot of people doing a um, kind of a flex forehand, doing an anti forehand and having to come back, or a very sharp backhand. Yeah, there's, there's really a couple routes, and Ben Hamilton is looking like he's opting for that flex forehand. Mm. Unfortunately, there's some guardian trees towards the back end of that hole too yeah. so it's a little bit more difficult than than it might look yeah 210 feet it's, it's really common to go that place like it's it's always you know as you know when you play disc golf it's it's very hard to do that perfect ante shot without it going down too quickly and having to come back so it can be a bit of a touchy shot and crabs is going with the hyzer flip probably meteor on this one looks like he is pole seeking on that yes yeah, he's one of the few people that really loves those those flex shots with the backhand. He doesn't do much backhand, or really, if ever, hard to think of the last time I saw him do a, a forehand, but he really loves those shots to from the right to left. And quite the rescue out shot there. That's, that's no small feat. He was about 15 feet in a tunnel of despair down there. Yeah, great recovery. Kenny with another low line. Let's see if he can punch it up again. Oh, no laser lion Clark on this shot. Nope. Not this time. Let's see Axel Olsen, see if he can get the putting stride back. Ah, those straddle putts are splashing left for him early, Peter. Yeah, yeah, just need to, you know, so sometimes you just got to keep doing what you're, like you can't stray from the game plan too much, but he's, he said he's dialing it in. I think uh, we'll have good, good round to come. A couple of pars there out of Ben Hamilton and Kenny Clark. Part crab, part man, part tree. Okay. Legend. There's man, bear, pig, and then there's, then crab there's tree the crab man. tree man. <laughs> All right, moving on to hole four. Let's see what we got here in store. What do we got? Ah, uh, yes, Peter. Hole four is a lot of trees in your way early here. You're going to want to throw pretty straight and have it turn over. So you can either throw a turnover backhand or you can really punch a forehand through. Uh, if you're going to go the forehand route, you've got to miss everything and really carry it all the way to the back. If you're going to throw a turnover backhand, there's a couple early guardian trees. And unfortunately, when you get to the bottom of this thing, you still have a, another giant tree that's in your way as this sits in the back position. I believe, yeah, a par four on this one. Yeah, par four, 371. So, you know, obviously there's a lot of obstruction. And... 
Kyle catching some of that, so it's a really not easy feat when you're looking at uh, distance to to par. Yeah, surprised that tree stood. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see in the very front, the front uh, right of the um, tee pad, there's, it is shaved off, which means, um, yeah, it's kind of initiation to hit that tree when you uh, play White River. And Birdie just absolutely corks that one right down. Yeah. I mean, it takes the line where you want to, mm -hmm. you want to go on the shot. Yeah, he, he went the exact drone round we had. Kenny Clark with a nice forehand. And there is a stump along the downhill there that might keep that disc in play. Mm -hmm. Axel Olsen lining up for a forehand as well. A little early, but he's going to have a good setup. Right, right. Like I said, with that stump there, Peter, you got a little bit of guardianship to not worry about that. Mm -hmm. Good place to aim. See, Kyle ended up a little bit left that he wanted to, but throws a majestic swan shot out of there. Yeah. I'll have to see where that landed. Speaking of Majestic, mm. ooh, it had tendencies. Yeah. He had a good placement, but unfortunately um, didn't turn over the forehand as much. He uh, he should be looking. So we'll see what happens if he can convert for birdie. Great great shot here out of Axel's and very controlled. Yeah. As you see, the, the Guardian Tree is still there, but it gives you a couple of alleys to go through. Oh yeah. And Kenny Clark ab absolutely finds one. Yep. Yeah. Good placement shots for uh, Axel, and yeah, everybody looks like it's kind of in plain sight to set themselves up. High and flat out of Clark. Put mm -hmm. it in close. Yes, sir. Man, tough putt out of that rough. Yeah. No. No. No doubt. We couldn't see, but uh, I'm sure there was not a uh, easy path. As this is pretty new too, so I don't think there's really much beaten path. Being made for Crab tree shots showing here. off his athleticism there with the one footed balanced putt. He did. He flexed a little bit. Yeah. He knew. He knew we were filming back there. Axel just flexed by getting a two instead. He didn't he, he kept both feet on the ground with that or one. Or a three, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, good birdie. Birdie on birdie. And Clark does the one handed putt with the old soda pop in ski in his hand, little Red Bull action yeah. there to keep the the energy up. Peter, hole five. It's a nostalgic hole here. Oh, Tell yeah. About it. Well, yeah, we're, we're going to see the nostalgia part of it. But, yep, hole five, par three, 298. Uh, this one is kind of straight to the point as we see the uh, basket already approaching. Uh, it's usually further in the back. This is in the short position right on the stump. So it is majestic in that sort of way. And so, uh, obviously, we think this is all part of the hole. No wait. Let's turn back and see why this hole is so majestic. Here we got the legendary duck hole that's right that is not an actual fossilized duck peter that's correct that is a stump that was a tree but we have made that tree into something beautiful and it gets repainted in once in a while and for that we thank you thank you white river disco yeah, not vandalism that one's not vandalism anyways here we go yeah. <laughs> katie clark up to start hole five Probably just throwing a buzz here. Mm. And man, does he throw it well. Puts right. it right up on that hill. He has a look. Mm -hmm. Axel Show. Olsen. Yep, showing him how it's done. Axel Olsen. Says, I can do that, Kenny. Unfortunately, doesn't man. get the fade that Kenny had, and it ends up taking a tumble back down the hill. You know, he had the, he had the right idea. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty much what you want to do here in the short position is push to that tree and just let it let it settle down on the pond. Definitely. Kyle Crabtree with a good flip up. Showing no, us how inside. it's done. Hits oh, a stump lucky. or a root. Got sneaky. A little bit of a rollback. Birdies by Ben. Ben Hamilton here. Uh, a little and bit of he called it. No, that's inside. Fortunately, he got a little bit of a blessing he did. off of that branch because that, that early rough is no fun. No, no. And anybody who's played this course knows. Well, I mean, that's another initiation part. You've, you've been I've heard. Yo, I heard it was no good. I've never sure. been in there, of course. Yes. No, who? Yes. Did I say that? I mean, nobody does. I mean, <laughs> you saw that one guy that one time, Peter, he went in there. That was He never came out. That's right. Definitely wasn't me. Yep, Axel Wilson with a good approach shot just to uh, clean up par. Great. 
Five. Kenny with a good birdie look. Might be a little bit of a uh, tough putt being elevated, but let's see how it plays out. Uh, oh, um, wow. Kenny Clark somehow improves his putting percentages when tree roots are around, Peter. Tree root stats, you're telling me. Yeah, that's right. I didn't know those existed. Every data point counts. That's true. We need to hire statisticians for some of these interesting layouts. Kyle Crabtree for a birdie look. Will he get out putted? No, sir. Definitely not. Not on today's date. Not on hole five, Peter. Not on hole five. Not in a hole containing a stump. That's true. Also, Crabtree improving his stump putting percentage. Yes, I was going to say, another statistic. Let's get the email statistician. At least 0.03% up from mm -hmm. before that. Definitely. For, for the fantasy uh, disc golf players out there, take note. Hole six, par three, 253. Tell us how this uh, plays out. This was uh, known as the toilet bowl hole. Unfortunately, the tree fell. Oh. However, it is a brutal guardian tree. You just have to hit your line. There's a couple lines here to hit, but unfortunately, there's also about 47 or 48 trees you could possibly hit. And they tuck this back into another set of trees. So once you make the corner and make it through the first gap, you have another gap to negotiate. Yeah, by distance, you would say this is a must get, but um, this does get the best of a lot of people, even the pros, you know, some of these, they can crush a lot of those high distance holes, but you know, when it's, you know, this short and so much margin for error, it can really get the best of, of anybody on the, in the field. And Clark throws a roller. That's not one that you see often, but I do see it from time to time. Yeah. Uh, this is a little bit more common of a uh, occurrence here on this hole. Yes. As you're almost perfectly hitting the line and the tree jumps out in front of you and mashes it you into the bushes. It does, man. The lines here get uh, very narrow. Bang. And Axel Olsen telling us. Wow. Praying to the tree gods. He got a gift. Showing Kyle and Kenny how it's done. I like it. Ben Hamilton seeing if, if he can replicate that line. Any rep. Uh, any relation to Alexander Hamilton, the president? You know, I, I did not do that sort of, uh, of digging, deep digging on it. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting shot. Uphill, not much, uh, not much path, I think, has been uh, carved out on top of the hill. So, all this foliage, it's going to be interesting. He's finding a way, though. Clark found a majestic swan line that only 4% of humans can see. That is a stat we might have to confirm. But uh, he's not got, got a gimme. He does, is still left. Wow. Um, Going to be potentially outside circle with uh, Kenny's shot. And good shot from um, Kyle. Uh, birdies by Ben. Showing his hops there, unfortunately. The putt sailed right up. Clark lining up for one that seems to be in Clark's range. He's been known for these. Ah, not this time. It was too close for him on that one. Mm, had to be a little further back. Yep. And look at this. This is a narrow gap. Axel Olsen's put I mean, himself in. Excellent camera work right here. I mean, this is this is very standard on this hole. Yes. Oh, God, it was just... Oh, wow. That was so good. I almost raised my hand for that. I was like, so in. I would have called on you, mm. just like the teacher did in sixth grade when I raised my hand. That's true. I was there. It was awesome. I said, put your hand down. Because Ben is about to make a sassy birdie. That was that Excuse was a me. nice par. That was a nice yeah, comebacker. Ben. Beautiful execution by Ben Hamilton. Yes. Clark putting the yellow one. That's, That's the leafy putts with GT bangers. Yeah, from the footage I've seen, and uh, God bless for those, because those that that little hump on it's, you know, it's awkward feeling. But when people like them, they love them. Yep. All right, next hole. This one is dreadful. Three hundred twenty hole seven. This one, I mean, look at this gap, and you have to make it through this gap. This gap has been known to take out many rounds. Many a scorecards have been sacrificed on the right tree. Yes. Many on the left. 
but what, if you happen to make it through, you actually have a pretty wide open fairway, and it's just a nice hyzer shot to your left hand side. That's really all you gotta be concerned about. Just, Peter, that. just hit the gap. It's just, that easy. Just do that, folks. That's all. Just, come on, do. just hit the gap, Peter. If, I mean, I mean, this is simple. They're all gonna birdie, right? Yeah, 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 totally. Because uh, yeah. you know, it's just a six foot gap. Ooh. Made I, through that. Uh, he made it through the first game. Initial one. Yeah. Axel Olsen, does he? Oh my goodness. He, he shopped at the gap, it's Peter. Hard advice. He That's shopped good. at the gap. Yeah. Took it. See, it's not that hard once you make it through. Amazing. You just have to be 17 years old and yeah. uh, just play this for a few years. Massive athleticism. Yes, exactly. Speaking of athleticism, Ben Hamilton. Mm. That's still good forward. That's not a horrible tree, Rick, but good, good obviously not play. what you want. Yeah, good forward play. Uh, Kenny doing a really interesting shot, doing a little bend over forehand here. Or right to left. Some sort of Clark only mm. stuff. And yeah. he hit the, uh, an unsplit log. Yes. That was That's firewood. Firewood. Here. The homeless people will thank you later for that. And Crabtree absolutely puts it on the dance floor. Yep. Through a bush. That's right. 70 style. It's okay. It's okay. And the bangers over there on the dance floor, too. Mm -hmm. oh, Clark wow. hears the music. That's right. Can Ben hear the beat? He's asking the cameraman if he's a, he's a good dance. Is good. He's a, he's a, he's then, a good hit the dance floor. When has your footwork ever let you down? That's right. Am I right, Peter? That's right. Not really, but... We don't know how he dances. Yes. Right, no more pars. We're not that person. We haven't dug in too, too deep, but we'll find out eventually. Along with his putt. But he does putt. There but he go. does putt. Yeah. And, you know, once again, strata putts are hard. He says he doesn't want any more pars. doesn't want any more. He said, hey, and Axel Olsen just got a birdie. Yes, yeah, great birdie. He was intimidated by Ben there when he said no more pars. I don't know. It's tough to say. When it's, a, when it's a solo game like this, unless he stared him down and said, hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. And right. If he said that, that'd be a different story. Right. But hopefully not. Hole eight, 295. Oh, man, this, this makes you feel good after that last one, doesn't it, Peter? Oh, yeah, wide open. This one is a must get when you're getting towards that uh, back nine. Um, yeah, I mean, as you see here, I mean, you just got two gaps. You want to go either the wide route or the fairly narrow. And uh, that tree we just passed is one that gets many. And it's going to depend on if you make birdie or par. Yeah, essentially, I usually try to pump one straight and let it do its natural thing. Mm -hmm. Curve back to the left as it slows down. And uh, most of the time you're right there. But I have I have taken that inside one and let it let it sail towards the basket as well. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that tree. Unfortunately, I've hit that tree twice in my life as well. Only twice. Two times. Only twice. Yes. We'll have to look at that stat. Here we got Kyle Crabtree. In rain on Tuesdays, that is. Crabtree put it, it put it underneath the park parking garage there. Okay, that's the parking garage. That's where the basket lies. You can call it a garage. Kenny Clark, going more on the inside route. Where did he go? If if Clark, if Crabtree was in the parking garage, where is Clark? You know, definitely in the parking lot. He has a parking space. That's he's for got sure. a spot to park. He's got a spot. Ooh. It's, it's, did he? Did he? Somebody's put like, hope you save my spot for me. Mm -hmm. He's hanging out. He said, "Hey, make room for me, because I got a big truck." Ask Olson. No way. Along with the wide swan approach and leaning close. Yep. See, so yeah, so yep, Clark isn't parked. Yeah, He's interesting. In the parking line. lot, though. You were right, Peter. Great analysis. Line. Oh. Ooh. Almost got that spot, but a Mini Cooper was parked just right there. And Crabtree is in the parking garage. Yes. As you can see. He is. He says, okay, well, park this. Boom. Boom. Without a doubt. Going to four under now. Getting a good lead on everybody, two-stroke lead. And some clean ups. Clean up. Olson lining up his cleanup putt. 
excellent backpack air. They gave those out at uh, the DDO a couple years back. And Birdies say. by Ben, he called it, Peter. He said, no more pars. Yeah. And then he follows it up with a birdie. That is that is good uh, manifestation, as you say. Yeah. You manifest what you're going to do. Hole nine, final hole of this part one, round one, 328 feet. You're going to see a lot of people taking uh, this route with the drone. Um, it's actually in the spot on the left as we're coming up to, where you see it on the right usually. Um, and yeah, it's going to play out uh, pretty interestingly because, yeah, for the backhand throwers, it's a little tough, but uh, forehand, look at this. One of the rare times you see Kyle Crabtree throwing forehand, and unfortunately, not the best result. And Ben Hamilton is decides to take the locals only route. That's the early tree gap, real big hyzer. Mm -hmm. You can get there that way. I tr typically try to just turn my uh, Raptor over right by the V there. Shout out to Raptors. And, and speaking of, yeah, no, that's, that's Olsen basically major. had the right idea. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he just got a little bit tight on that inside tree, that yeah. last tree to, to avoid. Ben's uh, route is a little risky sometimes just because of how narrow it is and how unpaved it is or uh, how much bush is there. But the way they're taken is... The road more traveled. Flexing that forehand skill, Kenny Clark absolutely puts it up there. It might be a little bit of a longer putt, yeah. um, but as you see here, Axel Olsen cleaning up and, and putting it underneath the basket, and Crabtree with a turnover putt here. Mm. Right, idea. Up, folks. right idea. Got Kenny from outside, outside. Man, I. <laughs> Whoa, and he is running. All right, Clark wasn't in the parking lot or the garage on that one. No, nah, he was trying to burn out into his own parking spot right there. That was that was a, a legit run there. Birdie. He is not getting another par, Peter. He's mad. He's sick of it. He's so tired of those stinking pars. Yeah. He told us we wasn't going to get any more. His handle is not pars by Ben. It's birdies by it's Ben. It's birdies by Ben for That's a reason. That's to know. Here we got Axel Olsen cleaning up for par. Clark Parr, no longer sold in stores. No longer sold in stores. Special edition. Once again, flexing that one-legged foot putt. If you ain't making par, he's or a birdie. He's uh, he's showing you how it's done. Right. Well, that's what's up. Let's look at some highlights of uh, the first part of round one. That's parked by Ben on hole one as he throws a clean turnover backhand. Yep, hole two, Kenny Clark. Pouncing on the prey from the rough, Peter. Many lasers. Here's another example of a freaking laser beam. 3D Lion Clark right there. Lion Clark, I like it. Kind of following up. Crabtree will not go silently into the dark. No, he will not. And Ben Hamilton, I am no longer getting pars, follows it up with true straight birds. I love it. Bring it back here, hopefully for round two, Peter. Part Look two. at that river shot. Yeah, part two. Part two, uh, round one. one. That's right, getting excited there. But shout out to Eric Raveland and James Melnick. We didn't give them a shout out there. Yep, Jeremy McGlinchey, Peter Ardman. We will be back for part two of round one. Stay locked. Thank and you loaded. Watching. Thank you for watching and uh, see you on the back nine. Booty clap. Yeah, sure.